Hi, this is uh, Craig with Quality Water Treatment, also known as Craig the Water Guy. I hope you're doing great today. Uh, here at QualityWaterTreatment.com, I want to go over our catalytic carbon with you and why it is so important that you make sure that you replace your carbon when it is time. If you have a, a carbon filter now, with, whether you purchased it from us or whether you purchased it from somebody else, whether that carbon filter is an upflow carbon filter or if it is a backwashing carbon filter with an electronic control valve on the top, this carbon is the best carbon you could possibly get. Coconut-based catalytic carbon typically lasts anywhere from three to seven years, depending on your water usage, of course, and depending on what type of contaminants and how much of a contaminant you actually have in your water. Your standard carbons out there, whether it's just a regular coconut-based carbon or what we call granulated activated carbon, a GAC, usually last anywhere from one to three years. So the catalytic coconut carbon has a much longer life expectancy than your other standard carbons out there. The reason for this is, is right here on the website. Um, it goes over uh, why the catalytic coconut carbon is so much better. It's due to the process that you can read up here on our website at qualitywatertreatment.com. So um, if you have one of our systems or if you have a system that you are uh, needing new carbon for, uh, please visit us at qualitywatertreatment.com and use our chart uh, to get the proper amount of uh, catalytic coconut carbon uh, for your system. One of the most important things uh, that I want to note here for the catalytic coconut based carbon is a lot of city water municipal water supplies are switching from disinfecting your water w from using chlorine to what we call chloramines. And chloramines is a uh, chlorine ammonia base. So the reason why they're doing this is because there is a lot of municipalities out there where they're experiencing um, a lot of um, new building and a lot more population coming into their areas. And they are not able to kill the bacteria and viruses properly uh, along the distribution system. And what I mean by distribution system, just in case you're not sure what that is, uh, distribution system when it comes to uh, supplying water to different homes and businesses is you have your water plant here where they chlorinate and treat the water and then you have your home or business over here well in between these two uh, you have a lot of uh, distribution lines uh, from point a to point b on those lines distribution points they have different testing areas that they need to take samples from to test the chlorine residual and then test for bacteria to make sure that uh, is coming back as a negative test. Uh, what they've been finding is that the chlorine um, is not able to keep up with the, the supply and demand on that. Uh, so they're coming up with no residual at all of chlorine and a lot of times they're coming back with a positive bacterial uh, contamination test, uh, whether it's coliform or E. coli. Um, so what they've been doing is they've been boosting their chlorine levels up as far as they could possibly go to the MCL, which is the maximum contaminated level, uh, for what they're able to do it uh, per government regulations. And uh, even by doing that in some cases, it's not enough. So there's still the residual is still dissipating out before it can reach your home or your business, uh, causing issues again with contamination. So they've switched to chloramines in those particular cases because chlorine has a lot longer life expectancy than chlorine does. And that is the reason why they're doing it. So they can go ahead and not choke you to death with over chlorinated water uh, they're regulated by that MCL, so they have to not go above that anyway. Uh, and to make sure that they're killing the bacteria and viruses effectively by using chloramines versus chlorine. 
Now there's two major downfalls of using chloramine over chlorine. Uh, one is, is that um, chloramine is highly corrosive to metals. So any plumbing that you have in your home that's metal, it will attack it. Matter of fact, there are studies out there online from different plumbing companies that have replaced copper plumbing at homes that are less than three years old that are chlor that uh, where they're on city water and there's chloramines in the water and uh, where there's been pity and leaking and everything else where they've had to replace different sections of the plumbing and then install a upflow catalytic carbon filter in order to remove the chlorine effectively so the, the damage doesn't continue on, on the homeowner's plumbing. Uh, the other downfall of it is that chloramine is much harder to remove at higher flow rates than chlorine. So your standard carbons out there as your standard coconut based or granulated activated GAC carbons, yes, they will remove chloramines, but they won't remove chloramines at higher flow rates. And when I'm saying higher flow rates, I'm going to refer to a shower. Uh, your average shower is 1.5 gallons per minute. Doesn't seem like a lot, but if you have a one or a 1.5 cubic foot uh, carbon filter on your home, which is, are the typical sizes, or if you have a carbon cartridge, which is much smaller, hence the flow rates are going to be even less, 1.5 gallons per minute, you're going to miss uh, some of that chloramine, you're not going to get it all out. So you're still going to have some chloramines in the water, which number one is not healthy for you. Number two, uh, bad for your plumbing. So we have done a, done a lot of research on, on this over the years, and we switched to use a, a coconut-based catalytic carbon uh, over, well, probably five years or so ago, maybe longer, um, because more and more municipalities are going to chloramines now. Uh, last time I checked, over 30% of municipalities in the United States is switched to chloramines. And that is just rising um, every year. So uh, the catalytic coconut-based carbon will actually remove the chloramines at a very high flow rate effectively. And so that is the reason why you want to replace the carbon that you have with the catalytic carbon Base type media. I hope that helps you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, reach out to us at qualitywatertreatment.com. Give us a, a call on our, on our toll-free number or uh, send us an email or use our live chat. Thank you very much and have a great day.